Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey, and I've just published the fourth free update to my Ultimate Unity Overview course. It adds eight more lectures, covering more tools and features for a total of over 16 lectures. This one is a completely free update, so if you're already on the course, you already have access to all the new lectures. And if you don't own the course yet, you can get it to the link in the description with a coupon for 75% off. This update adds a lecture on remote config. This is Unity's tool for how you can define fields in your game and then easily modify them without having to upload a brand new build. So this one is great for iteration. Related to that one is game overrides. With this one, you can target specific types of players and give them different values depending on your targets and then do some A-B testing to analyze the results and see which value works best for your game. Another lecture is on cloud save. This is how you can store player data in the cloud. The obvious use case for this one is save files, but you can save whatever data you want. If you also implement a persistent authentication system, then this also becomes cross-platform. And then I also added lectures for some tools that I've also covered on this channel. This course is meant to work as a sort of library reference, which is why I encourage people to watch the lectures that they're most interested in, but then also watch all of the other ones, because there are plenty of tools that you might not even know exist. So I had the lecture on netcode for game objects. This is Unity's official multiplayer netcode solution. Then Lobby, with this one you can group players together. Next is a lecture on Relay. With this tool you can connect players together without having to worry about opening ports or firewalls. After that is a lecture on game server hosting. This tool is great if you want to make your game based on dedicated servers instead of peer-to-peer. -peer. And a lecture on Matchmaker, which is a Unity tool for matching players together based on whatever rules you define. Those are the eight new lectures added in this free update. This course is all about teaching you the various tools and features that Unity has, some of which you might not know about and could greatly help you on your development journey. In total, there's now over 16 lectures, each covering a different tool or feature of the engine. This is a great way to quickly get up to speed and become familiar with all of the tools and features that Unity has, which can help you be much better at building your own games. Learn all about making shaders in Shadergraph, 3D modeling with ProBuilder, playing videos with the video player, learn about visual scripting, assembly definitions, render textures, the grid system, text mesh pro, and tons more. Chances are that in this course you might find some tools and features that are part of the engine that you didn't even know about, which will greatly help you in your development journey. This update is the fourth one of many free updates. My goal with this course is to update it over time as I explain more and more tools and features, so let me know in the Q&A section which ones you're most interested in so I know which ones to prioritize. And also, I'm always available in that Q&A section, I answer all the questions every day, so if you need help with any of these tools and features, post them there and I'll do my best to help. Alright, so go ahead, join me on the course, and let's learn more about Unity together.